Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living or a retirement worth having. I went to a journalism school and learned how to become a reporter. Mainly I was doing visual communications, which was predominantly photojournalism, but today video is what's in. So what I'm doing is making recording. I'm talking about my experience of being a traveler, if you will, a homeless reporter. A person who sees things, observes things, tries to communicate things to the right people, and it doesn't always work out the way I'd like it to. Last night I went to look for some artwork that I've created, more than 20 images for one of my business programs. And what I found was that someone had not only changed the title of my online program, but some liar has deleted all my artwork. I found the same thing when I went over to Vistaprint, which is a company that I've been working with for the longest time that has a lot of my intellectual property, and it's all mine, but it's gone now, and I'm pretty pissed off. Those documents, those images, those words on pictures belong to me. Who has my code book? Who has my passbook? Who's been participating and lying and committing fraud on me? Most people in life are pretty concerned with fraud. Most people in life are also extremely concerned about identity theft and cybercrime because we need our computers, we need our telephones, we need our cell phones, we need them to be working correctly. And when they don't work correctly, we have to look to three areas of root cause analysis. And that's something you learn in manufacturing of trying to find out what's going on here. Why is there a problem here? What's the issue here? And hopefully I could go to all kinds of stories that I learned when I was an interpreter in manufacturing, in an environment of automobile manufacturing, in a plant. But I don't have to tell you my whole life story. Every person has the right to put together their own resume the way that it works for them at the present moment of time. We don't actually, at people of our age, don't go in putting in a whole cur curriculum vitae unless we're going to be a professor someplace. And I shouldn't have to do that because I'm an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur all my life. I've been in sales all my life. I've had to sell myself as a babysitter when I was literally 10, 11, 13. And openly, then I went into building my own practice of photography by 15. And I don't have to promise my entire life story to anyone in the world. But what about you? Are you concerned with cybercrime? Are you concerned with identity theft? Are you concerned with them plying into your bank accounts, ruining your finances, doing all this stuff like this stalking man who's behind me right now, literally always around me in the morning, who works for bank here as an employee? His father, his friend, whatever, does the same thing at night when I'm down on the other side of the street. But we're talking about reality. We're talking about people that are inappropriate in their behavior. We're talking about people that cross the boundaries and steal intellectual property. Intellectual property as a person who's pagan, as a person who well, used to be Christian, as a person who used to care about what people thought, is one of those gifts from God. But in the world of professionalism, in the world of business, in the world of career, in the world of everything that we hold dear in terms of making a living, creating an earning, and creating business revenue for our business, intellectual property is a huge thing in the marketing industry. It's a huge thing in the writing industry. It's a huge thing in the creative industry. It's a huge thing in the technology industry. So we can't pretend that it's not a huge thing, can we? Now, when I talk about these things, I might skip around with different concepts of the topic, but I'm talking about all the same thing. I'm talking about people lying, stealing, cheating, and reducing people's rights to their own income streams to something that it's not quite right for other people to see. Now, does that make sense to you? Maybe, maybe not. But what I'm talking about is the right to sell our own thoughts, the right to sell our own creations, and the right to be in control of all our aspects of our computers, our cell phones, and any other particular type of technology that we actually use to make a living.